So I'm walking down the creek and <laughs> I stopped short. I was on the other side of the creek. Check this out. Dangers of prospecting this time of year. See that? It's a big old wasp nest. There's got to be 50 of them over there. See that? Just right in the rocks, right in the creek. And on the other side of those rocks, there's another nest. Look at all them things. I about three steps from stepping in there. Man, I mean, dude, that's a huge nest. One of the biggest I've ever seen. Right in the rocks, right in the creek. Ooh. Rain. All right, it's been a week since I filmed that wasp nest. I'm back on the same wash. And yesterday afternoon and last night, we had quite a bit of water come through here. I mean, there's standing water. I have to walk about 20 feet for a pan hole, but that's okay, I don't mind. Now, all this was blown out last night, okay? And, and we're supposed to get more of the same today. All that was blown out, not a whole lot here, but up in here. Now look at this bedrock. See this? Look at these traps in here. This awesome bedrock. And that all washed out. See all the roots? And there's, if you look real close, look here. See all the heavies? They're everywhere. Look at that. Just piles of them. So I'm sure it was moving gold. So I'm going to see what I can find in here. There's plenty of other places on this creek that have, you know, panning holes right now. I mean, there's water everywhere. Except for down here. Just This bedrock doesn't hold water. It soaks right into it. That's why there's no water here. But I really like this lower, this area in here. So I'm going to give it a try here, see if I can pull anything. And if not, I'll head further up where there's more water and give that a try. It's nice to be back in business, huh? All right, I've been spot checking. You know, I mean, that flood, I wouldn't call it a flood. It's probably two and a half, three foot deep. But yeah, it moves stuff around, but it didn't move much gold. I've only pulled, I mean, up till now. I just, I'm spot checking around here. They're not very big, but they're solid. Good thick ones there, right there. And uh, I've just been spot checking. See all this bedrock, it's bare. If it was a real good blow, you would see little pieces of gold on this, but there's none there. A lot of heavies, but you know, heavies and gold, two different things. But uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot. I didn't get, I got like one little flake out of that little trench there. Not a whole lot of pickings right now. But like I said, I think it's supposed to storm again today and tonight, just like it did yesterday. So maybe I get lucky and get a double blow. But I'm going to stay here for a while because this water won't stay more than a day or two. And it'll be dry again so and there's another wash if i have time i'll go check it today um it got hit really hard a lot harder than this one so i you know I, i've been thinking about it all night so it's very likely i'm gonna go hit that before i call it a day but for now i'm just gonna spot check a few more spots here maybe hit a few things up from me and then i'll probably head over that other wash anyway so far pretty slow i've only got about 15 pieces. Those are the two biggest ones so far, so I'll see what I can do. Come down to this strip of bedrock here. Jason, buddy, I had to look. And there's heavy scattered. This was all a heavy pocket, so I pulled that out. This is something Jason and I worked a while back. So I got down to this lower end, started pulling out. Look at right here. Jason, don't get mad now. <laughs> look at right there on the bedrock. Look at that coarse little nugget. See that? I mean, it looks like a sponge. Look at that. Ooh, sorry, Jason, dude. It was just laying there. I couldn't just leave it. <laughs> that's awesome. I have to put that. It may be two tenths of a gram, but right now that's what? $12 piece of gold right there. That's sweet. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to check it all out now. It's just laying right in this drop of heavies right here. See? You always got to check your heavy drops. Always, especially after a flood. All right, so there's where I got that picker. So I tested this here, and I got probably 20 coarse pieces out of this. I just tested this, because I want to make sure there's nothing over here. I got one speck. So I'm going to run this like this, in this boulder pile. The bedrock's still shallow, because see, it's right down here, about five foot away, six foot away. There's the bedrock again, same stuff. <coughs> so I want to get into this boulder pile right here, you know what I mean? See, there's heavies down in the, all through here. So very likely the gold's running this side. So I'm going to start stabbing into the ground here and see what I can pull out of there. I want to get down to bedrock and get some more crevices because 
Could be a bunch of that really coarse stuff through here. I think it's about noon and it's already starting to rain. So, oh, I dug out down here. I got one speck. So I went back to the top, dug out here, one speck. All right, so what I think was going on, just crevice. I think that's where the coarse stuff, see how these rocks are built up in here? I think that's where the coarse stuff's coming out of. So I reworked this, got about, I don't know, 10 more. But there's, I mean, that's a good little drop right there, but there was nothing in it. So, I don't know. I'm going to stand by and see what this rain does. Maybe I'll get lucky and the creek will start running while I'm here. It's only done that twice since I've been hunting here. Okay, so <laughs> that would be great. I would love that. But at the moment, I'm just kind of going to hold up and see what this weather does. And uh, not sure. I'll probably go back a couple spots I saw this morning on the walk down. Go check those, see if there's any gold in those. But right now, I'm just not getting much. You know what I mean? And I, I haven't got a decent gold day in a while, so I want to make up for that right now. Yeah, I got rained out the other day, so didn't get to do much over there. <clears throat> it's completely dry now. So I'm at a creek where it's not my first choice, but hey, it's where the water is. So I've been walking around sampling for about an hour. And I just come across this crevice here. Now look at that. See all the rocks built up in there? There's heavies in there. And this thing will move. Let's see. What do I do with my crowbar? Oh, I hope I didn't bury it. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, there it is. Alright. Over here, I watch that rock. See it moving? Oh, look at that. See all that dirt up in there? So, there's very likely some good gold in that. It's the only really decent spot I found. So, I'm just, I'm really in the mood to crevice, you know, because I, I do so well doing it. It just, there's not a whole lot of pickings around here for crevicing. You know, this bedrock's pretty, pretty solid. Every now and then I'll find a piece that'll move. This is the first decent one I've found. So, I'll give this a try. You know, it's clouding up again. Maybe it'll rain some more. I'd really like to get back to where I found that little picker, but it's dry. It's waiting time again. Well, they're not big pieces, but they're not bad. Now, that's not out of that crevice, okay? But nothing came out of that. So I moved over toward the water there and, and got a piece to come out there, and that's what was in it. They're, they're not bad. They're pretty thick, you know? I've had much better pans, but I'm not complaining because that's... Unfortunately and sadly the best pan of the day so far So uh, I'll keep digging I got some more dirt down there. Maybe some more breaks, but you see It's nice what gets trapped in the crevices. I can't seem to leave this spot I cleared more of it out as you can see and I look down here and I want to see right along this edge. See that? And that's another crevice and there's rock stuff in it. Good sized rocks and they're hard packed, meaning they've been there a long time. They've got white buildup all around the edges of it. So they've been laying there quite a long time. So I shoveled some of the dirt out just to follow this. So I'm going to try and get that out. I mean, there's got to be half a dozen rocks in that crevice right there. Could be a chunk of gold in there. So I have to check it before I go. I'm not leaving for the day. I just have to find another spot. I, you know, I've pulled 50 pieces of gold out of here. The first pan was the best, everything else was just little flakes and stuff. I definitely got to check that. And then I'll look for something. Well, it's about quitting time for me. So there you have it. Though I am grateful for the rain we get, any rain we get, this rain that we've had last couple days just hasn't done much at all. I mean, the pickings are pretty slim. And there's the picker from the other day. So, well... I'd say it's close to a gram. With the picker, it's close to a gram. Well, that's a chunky little monkey right there. Anywho, so today was our last rain chance. So that pretty much wraps it up. So now we wait for the winter rain. So, it, you know, I mean, there's still water here, but let me tell you, there just isn't much gold. I mean, it's just not, it didn't do anything. It didn't move anything but sand, really. So, I don't know, man. Hopefully, you know, a couple of weeks go by, maybe we'll get a winter rain. That gives us more water. It's cooler temperatures, that kind of thing. So the water sticks around a little longer. Yeah, I'm 
I mean, the wash where I got that, I mean, I just love that place. But, you know, if it rains, if you miss a day, that's it. The water's gone. I mean, it doesn't even last a day. In the wintertime, it lasts longer. But that's still a few months away. Anywho, so that's it for me. Hopefully we'll get some rain soon. Some real rain soon. <laughs>